Hello wonderful family, another glorious day and another beautiful opportunity to share the word with you. Hallelujah. Praise God. Have you noticed a particular thread all through the Bible when God is coming to deal with man? You notice that he is always saying, fear not, fear not. In essence, he's telling you that fear is not of him. Fear doesn't come from him. He's, he's telling you this is against his will. Fear is against his will for your life. So he's telling you, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. When he has even said that he has not given us a spirit of fear. So he, in essence, he's telling us that fear is associated with a spirit. He's, give, he's not giving us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and of a sound mind. So fear erases power. It robs you of your power. It robs you of love. And it robs you of a sound mind. You just get helpless upstairs. You, you don't think right. But he's always telling us, fear not. When he's coming, when he comes and we want to get terrified, he tells us, do not be afraid. So if for any situation or circumstance, he's telling you, have courage. Don't be afraid. I'm with you. I'm with you. If we could ever get to believe that God is with us in any situation or circumstance then really and truly there will be no need to fear. He said he will never leave us nor forsake us. That means he's right there with us and if God is with you who can be against you? If God is for you who can be against you? Who can, who can triumph over you? Who can trump you? Nobody. Nobody. So he tells us, don't be afraid. He said, command is not a suggestion. Because fear cripples, fear paralyzes, and fear is of the devil. It's of the devil. He doesn't want you in a situation or circumstance where you bow or bend your knees to the devil. Because fear is actually saying, Lord, I don't trust you. You can't save me. Despite his ability. Fear is saying that God is weak. It's saying that God is unable. He's reducing God from that position of omnipotence to even slightly less than omnipotence. And that's wrong. That's actually saying God is not God. So he tells you over and over again, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. It's a command. Do not be afraid. Whatever it is, do not be afraid. Consider God, the omnipotent one that said he will never leave you nor forsake you. The same one that said, I will help you. He who has all ability says he will help you. If he helps you, what else is there? The thing is sorted. Just take it to him. That's why he says, cast your burdens unto the Lord. And he will sustain you. Cast it all once and for all. Just throw it all to him. You cannot sort it out yourself. Just take it and throw it to him. Let him be the one to handle it. He knows the end from the beginning. He knows how to sort you out. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. God bless you. Hallelujah.